The most beautiful city, the passing of our beloved ones, La Bellissima Ciudad, written by Maestro Walter Anthony Blair, and narrated by Madeline Steinbach. Chapter 1. The Tragedy Once upon a time, but not so long ago, there lived a six-year-old girl named Alicia, who lived with her parents in an old cabin near the wavy, deep, dark blue sea. The genesis of this story takes place on one cold, blustery day in the month of January. While her dad drove Alicia and her mom from Chicago to New York in horrible weather, the roads were covered and consumed with black ice, and there was very poor visibility. Suddenly, the car spun out of control and crashed into a huge oak tree. This terrible tragedy caused her parents to pass away. But thanks be to God, Alicia miraculously survived. However, this tragedy caused her to be emotionally depressed and heartbroken with grief for many years to come. With much urgency, Miss Runfio made an important decision to adopt Alicia. In her trepidation, she never forgot her promise as the godmother that if there were ever a family tragedy to happen, then she would become the one who would love and take care of Alicia for the rest of her life. Shortly after the passing of her parents, the Department of Children of Family Services prepared the paperwork to transfer her as the adopted daughter and goddaughter of Miss Runfio, who lived in New York City. Miss Runfio was elated to take care of her, as she showered her with plenty of love, joy, and compassion. However, the passing of her parents continued to haunt her with much sadness, sorrow, and grief. Miss Runfio loved and adored Alicia so much. She was a widow who never had children of her own. I believe that somehow she was moved with empathy and compassion to treat Alicia as her own biological daughter. As time passed on, their relationship grew stronger and stronger, but Alicia would always keep the memory of the love she had for her parents hidden deeply in her heart. One day, Miss Runfio Miss Runfio asked Alicia, Why don't we do something exciting to make the world more beautiful? Alicia hesitated and replied, Let's go to Mexico and open up our own restaurant, and you can sell your delicious Mexican food such as carne asada, pozole, carnitas, and by the way, what's that delicious drink called? Are you thinking about horchata? Claro que sí, mamita. Yes, of course, mommy. Miss Runfio and Alicia enjoyed traveling around New York City. Alicia loved visiting Liberty Island, where she saw the Statue of Liberty for the first time. Also, she saw the sights and sounds of Times Square, the Empire State Building, and Central Park. Miss Runfio informed Alicia that her Mexican ancestors who were from Mexico migrated to America on steamboats from 1848 to 1930. Miss Runfio said, I think many of them had to pass through the ports of Ellis Island, which was an important immigration center, in order to get here. Alicia chuckled and said, What are steamboats? Miss Runfio simply nodded, shrugged, and candidly said, I think you better Google it. She learned that steamboats were propelled primarily by steam power, 
typically driving propellers or paddle wheels through the wavy, dark, deep blue sea.